Hey, what's up guys? So I just finished doing some laser jammer testing and I am completely surprised and honestly stunned by what I just saw. And so I just came back, grabbed a camera, <laughs> grabbed a mic, uh, and wanted to sit down and just go ahead and share the results with what I just found. So yesterday somebody joined us on RDF and posted pictures of their beautiful blue Ferrari F8 Tributo. They just finished getting some laser jammers installed. Uh, they went with a set of ALPs and they had them installed in the front and the rear. Now what was surprising was the rear install looked actually problematic. And we were all concerned like, hey, this is not going to work. And so for that reason, the two of us actually got together today to do some testing uh, with a bunch of different laser guns and the results were not at all what I was expecting. Now, if we take a closer look at the install itself, uh, the front ALP setup is pretty straightforward. He's got uh, two regular heads kind of in the dual air intakes underneath the headlights, uh, and then a TX head mounted in the center. If you take a look at the rear setup though, this is what really caught our eye. The issue here is that the two regular heads are actually mounted behind the grill uh, below the two taillights. In fact, it's pretty much impossible to see. There is kind of this mesh opening in front of the heads, uh, but they are otherwise completely blocked. Over the license plate, uh, there's what looks like two uh, TX heads, though only one of them is actually TX head. Uh, they just put kind of this empty clone on the other side there, uh, just so that it looks symmetric. Now, what we were all concerned about is that with the, uh, the rear heads uh, installed behind the grill like this, they're not going to work. They're not going to be able to see the laser guns properly, uh, and they're not going to be able to turn around and jam properly. However, uh, when we got to testing, uh, I actually had three different guns with me. I had uh, the LTI TrueSpeed S, the Custom Pro Laser 4, uh, and the LTI LRB. We tested down an 1800 foot straightaway, testing both front and rear, and the results were really surprising. Uh, against the TrueSpeed S, it went jam to gun on the front, shooting driver headlight, uh, center mass, and driver passenger light. Uh, shooting in the rear, all three areas, same exact thing, jam from gun no matter where I shot on the rear of the vehicle. Uh, switching over next to the uh, PL4, same thing, it went jam to gun and jam from gun as well. No reading at all, I was kind of getting confused at this point, like, this install shouldn't be working this well. I actually started shooting other cars while I was going just to double check to make sure the guns were working properly, and they were. Um, and then same thing finally with the uh, LRB, jam to gun and jam from gun. I did get one punch through at like 102 feet, kind of as the car was driving away from me from behind. Passenger tail light, I did get a quick punch through there. Um, but other than that, it was jam from gun. And so essentially with that performance, yeah, it's solid front and rear against all of the guns that I tested with. Now, what was especially surprising about this is evidently the installers made a little bit of a wiring mistake when installing the ALPs. Uh, they had wired it up so that both of the TX heads, the front and the rear, uh, are connected to the front ports on the ALP, not the rear. And so for the rear, there actually was no TX head operating at all. If you shoot from the front, both of the TX heads would fire, but from the rear, you would only have the two regular heads firing. And with that, that made the results even more impressive, the fact that it was able to jam. And I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now this isn't supposed to work. This is against manufacturer recommendations, and this is against what I would see as common sense, which is what makes it even more surprising for me, you know? You put a grill in front of the heads, and it's still able to see the laser gun and able to fire back. I mean, we did test on, like, a pretty straight. There was a little bit of a curve in the road, but pretty straight on. I didn't do any crazy stuff off axis or overpasses or whatever. It was fairly straight testing, but still, I was not expecting these results, especially from the rear. Now, this is the second time that I've shot a car in testing where they had an install, where the laser heads were installed behind a grill like this, uh, and it actually worked. The second Ferrari, actually. Um, so I need to update my understanding on how this stuff works. I'm wrong with my understanding. I'll completely admit it. Um, and so there are times apparently where this can work. I'm not comfortable saying, oh yeah, go for it. You'll never see an issue. There's no problem at all. Install it behind a grill and it'll be great. I definitely think there needs to be more testing here. But at the same time, I don't, I guess, think we should just completely write off behind the grill installs as completely unusable and ineffective. For the longest time, I thought that was the case. But then when I go and test it and it turns out that's not the case. And that's ultimately what testing is all about. You know, you have an idea, you go test it and you see whether your hypothesis is correct or not. And there you go. And there's the results. And so number one, I was wrong. This is actually in some situations, I'm not entirely sure when, but in some situations it's actually feasible. And number two, good job ALP <laughs> for being able to still jam with a much less than ideal install. We talk about the ALP sensitivity being helpful if maybe your heads are not quite near the target areas or pushed out 
you know, far away from the headlights or something, that sensitivity is helpful. But I guess in this situation too, in some situations, again, I don't know exactly when, but it is possible for the jammers to work even when they're installed behind the grills. I haven't tested other systems to see if this is also true with like your TMGs and Escorts and Stingers and whatever else. So I can't say that yet. I'm just sharing the results from what I've been seeing so far. Tested two ALP installs, two different Ferraris with some of the heads installed behind grills. And in some situations it can work. Uh, of course, there's going to be more discussion about this. I'll post a link in the uh, in the video description to where we're all discussing the stuff on the forum. So I don't understand why this is working. I don't know when it works and I don't know when it doesn't work. I can say now after seeing this happen twice, that evidently there are situations where you can have the heads installed behind a grill and your system can actually still function. So I'm still stunned and confused and kind of in shock. But yeah, that's the results. And I want to go ahead and share with you guys. So I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing great. And I'll see you in the next video.